Welcome back everybody. Now we are going to learn how to enter the balances on the general journal. Uh, the question paper with that you are busy with is Duma. Uh, in 1.1.2 it says create the following general ledger accounts. Use the given account numbers and the names link each account to correct report writer category. On the previous video we have created all these accounts. In 1.1.3, it says use the general journal to capture the balances given in the question uh, 1.1.2. On 28 February 2021, use the balance as the description. So when you are given the instruction like that, uh, which, which specify the date in which you should put your balances, you must go back to the information that was used to create the company so that you can see where does this that date belong? Is it a, 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 the, the date for the current year or is it a date for the previous period? So if you check the date 28 February 2021 is the date for the previous period, which is last year. So that will have the influence on how we do our settings. So in order to create the general journal, what do we do? We go to process journals. And then from there, we go to general journal. Remember, this is a general journal that we have created earlier on. So when you arrive here, you should always start with going to your settings. So you must go to your settings. Under settings, under contra account, you don't put any account there because each and every line will contain its own account. As we have said that we should put our balances on 28 February 2021, which, is, which according to this company is the previous year. So it means under processing, we will untick this year's transaction. So when we do that, our GJ will go to last year, as you can see there. So we are going to repeat description because this is going to be balance, balance. All the lines will have a description called balance. So we are going to repeat description. Then we can all take out invoke open item. We can also take out show uh, balloon, balloon tips. Uh, already, because of our settings, we don't have text. So the text is already deactivated. Under increment, this is the referencing. So we don't want to increment. So that's why we are going to select no here. So we are not going to increment. So again, under our settings, we don't put anything under contra account because each and every line will contain its own account. Then under processing, we have to untick this year so that we go to last year. As you can see here, because these balances belong to last year, then we, we should leave repeat description. We can also untick invoke open item and also show balloon tips. We can untick those. The text processing is already unticked. If your text processing is not unticked, then it means when you come here, you need to untick your text processing so that your GJ will show a debit as well as the credit. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see inclusive and a, 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 a exclusive amount. So then this is all about your setting then you can now close this is the first thing that you do then the second thing that you must do you must make sure that here you are in the correct period so we have to be in period 12. so we will be in period 12. so we can start working on your keyboard you can press tab to move uh, 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 through the line so you can see the date is 2802 which is correct and then GCS, we know, we know that it, we can either select a general ledger account or a customer or a supplier. So in this case, we are looking at a general general account. So it's going to be a general ledger account. So it's a G. And then we press tab again. All your accounts will open. As you can see, you can zoom your account with a um, account number or you can zoom with your description. So I always like to zoom with description. When I zoom with description, I press the first letter of the word and then pastel will populate all those accounts that are starting with that letter that I've just typed. So at the moment, I'm looking for sales. So sales, I can just select sales there and press enter. 
Then after that, I need to create a reference. What is it that I'm creating here? Is a general journal. So it means I'm going to take the first letters of the general journal, which is G, J. Which period am I creating this GJ for? Is period 12. Okay, so I will just say GJ, or I can say GJ, NL, meaning general journal number 12. So that is a GJ, that is my reference that I'm putting there. Then they will also indicate on your question paper. Sometimes they'll indicate which reference you must use. So if they did not indicate which reference you must use, you can create your own. But if it's given on the question paper, you must use the one that is given on the question paper. And then with a description, they will also tell you which description to use. Uh, in this case, they said you must use balance. So it's balance in capital letters. So you must just use balance in capital letters. Then you must now indicate on what side will this account fall? Is it on debit side or is it on credit side? If you look at the sales, sales increase on the credit side. So you're going to put that on the credit side. That in 63.950. Okay. Once you've done that, you tap, tap, tap to the next line. Remember, you don't put anything under contra account because uh, once you are done with this journal, it must balance automatically if you know your accounting very well, if you know which account goes to the debit side or which account goes to the credit side. Although in the question paper they said there, they said this general page should be in balance. Use the balance suspense account as the balancing account only if you cannot get the, the page to balance. But if you know uh, your accounting, it won't be a problem. Once you put everything where it belongs, this balance uh, general journal will balance. So we are going to continue and see whether this general journal will balance for us. So the next account, I tap, 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 open the, all the list of account. I, I type C on my keyboard because I'm looking for the cost of sales. So I can say see all there, then it will populate the account cost of sales. Once it's populated there, I can just press enter. And then you can see that the reference is continuing. The balance is also continuing. So now I need to indicate on what side does the cost of sales increase. So the increase on the debit side. So I put 885, 300 there. I tap, tap, tap to the next line. Remember, I don't put anything under contra account. And then the next account is stationary, ST, it will populate the stationary for me, I press enter, the reference is still the same, balance is still the same, what side does it increase? On the debit side, so I put the 34, 500, I tap, tap, tap to the next a line, I tap, tap again to open uh, the next account, which is advertising, is already there, I can just press enter, it increase on what side? On the debit side. So that will be 15,300. Okay, then I tap to the next line. Now I'm activating the telephone. I can press T. Telephone, telephone account will uh, be the first there. Then I press enter. Still an expense account increasing on the debit side. Then the next account is um, water and electricity. I type W and then uh, the water and electricity account will appear. Remember, I'm searching with the description. That's why I'm typing the first letter of the way today. Okay, then still an expense. I go to the debit side. Remember, I don't put anything under contra. I continue, now I'm looking for insurance. There it goes, then I press enter. It's an expense, goes to the debit side. I continue like that, I open the rent expense. Still an expense account, goes to the debit side. Then I go for salaries, yes. Still an expense, 182, 100. Now I'm looking for the capital. Yes. On what side does it increase? On the credit side, which is 505, 
500. <laughs> then I have the retained income. So there's no amount there, so I can just pass. Then I'll uh, move to the next account, which is bank. And bank, you must double check with your bank whether it's positive or negative. So take note that the bank was favorable. So it means it must go to the debit side. So I'm going to put it on the debit side. Then I have my cash float. Right, I can use arrows to move around as well. Cash flow, the current assets, they increase on the debit side. And then, um, then I have my trading stock. Okay, trading stock. And then I increase on the debit side, which is 63,300. Okay. So I see that I have a difference of 340,800. Oh, I've missed the drawings. You can see it can tell you uh, how much, uh, which side is bigger by how much. Then it means I missed the drawings. I'll just put drawings there. Drawings. Then it's 30, 40, 800. Let's see if it will balance then. Yes. Then it will say in balance. Okay. So this is a situation you don't need to use an account 9999 if you, you, you know how to, on which side they are, your accounts increase or decrease. Because when you enter the account, you will enter that account where it increased. For example, we saw that the sales increased on the credit side and all our expenses were put on the debit side. The capital increased on the credit side as well as um, all the other accounts. As long as you know the your accounting structure or or how, how i mean your categories of your account in terms of assets owners equity and liabilities you won't have a struggle to balance your general general so this is the situation here and then if you continue with the instruction it says do not print the general general batch listing what if they said you must print your general general how do you print your general general you go to print and then you print your journal with contrast. But in this case, they didn't say you must print the GJ. So let's look at the next instruction. It says, post the journal journal to the journal ledger. So let's say in a question paper, they said you must print the GJ or the journal journal. In this case, it means you will first need to print the journal journal before you can update the journal journal. Because if you update the journal journal, before printing it, then it means you won't be able to have or you won't be able to print your general journal anymore because it will be gone. Okay, so that's the end of our uh, of entering our balances in the general journal. So we are going to continue in the next video to see then how do we uh, post the general journal.